This video is about the rumor of um, Apple coming out with a new um, SE2. First of all, um, this here is just a rumor, and the rumor comes from Ming Chi Ku of TD International Securities. Now, Ming Chi Ku, um, he releases a lot of things that are his opinions about uh, what Apple is going to do. He studies a lot of the um, patents and, and different things, and he, he does more releases as far as the future of Apple than just about anybody that's out there right now. Apple themselves keeps pretty good control over what they're going to do, and they don't let anybody know what they're going to do at all. And so internally from Apple, it's pretty difficult to get any information at all um, about what Apple's going to do. Um, this opinion from Ming Ching Ku claims that um, it'll be kind of like an iPhone 8. It'll have three gigs of RAM, and, um, and, and that'll be the size of it. Um, he, he doesn't really think it'll be um, the same size of the, as the old SE2. Old SE. Um, he, he also has predicted other predictions, like uh, the uh, in 2020 that Apple will have all 5G on all of its phones, and he has many, many other predictions. He makes more predictions than, than virtually anybody. Um, the news has picked up on him because he, he has a pretty high accuracy rate, and he does a pretty good job at. Um, at guessing what Apple will do. Um, whether uh, we'll see um, an SE2 next year or not is really kind of unknown. Apple can do just about anything they want to do. Um, you know, they, they, they might be tempted because of, 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 the, of the large number of sales it would make, but then also um, they have some, um, the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro, they're selling extremely well, and so they're going to be very leery about um, taking a chance of damaging those sales on those. So, um, but anyway, uh, whatever they do, um, if there's a new SE2, then um, it would be a really great thing for the consumer side of things because it would be a cheaper iPhone and it would, um, and also he's, he's saying it's going to come with a new A13 chip also. Is another claim he's making on this. Um, so that would actually be quite good too, having a newer phone with a newer chip um, of the size of the iPhone 8 would be really a, a really nice idea for Apple if they wanted to do that. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, until next year to see whether or not um, the, um, uh, the SE2 comes out next year or not. Uh, right now, the biggest thing um, everyone's waiting on is the Pixel 4. Um, most of the information on Pixel 4 has been, already been released, but um, there are a few more things coming out about it, um, and some of it not necessarily good. But, um, but the Google Pixel never has been very um, good of a long haul anyway, and so Apple generally uh, dominates things because of their higher build quality. Um, and so this would also be interesting too on the SC2 about the build quality. How, how good will the build quality be on this if they do come out with an SC2? And so that would be a big concern because it's only a, a, an advantage if it has a good build quality. Um, I would assume because it's in a cheaper price range that it's going to be more like the 11 or something around the build quality of the 11 or something like that. So it'll, it'll probably be of a lower build quality. Um, and whether it's waterproof or not, it is kind of up in the air too. It probably will be waterproof, I would guess. Um, I would hope, anyway. But um, anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe. And thanks a lot.